So as we come up to this intersection, I would like to point out how out of the way Dylan Stitt's driving was to pull up in front of us as we cross the intersection we're coming to. And when I describe these things, I also came down to point out that on that building is a 360 degree camera that captured the whole thing. Since he was driving in here, he should have pulled in here. And he could have pulled in this whole entire section here. But what he did was approximately where this is, and I'm the one who placed this here, he gassed his truck around me from back there. Not pulling into here, but actually drive, he could have, should have drove where he is standing. He came in around here, about where the crack is and closer, and drove this way. Okay? And when he did so, he did so intentionally. He should have turned off anywhere there that he would not have come close to us. But what the camera shows is that he intentionally drove all the way up in front of us, gassing it as fast and as close as possible. And that this camera right here proves that he tried to run us down with his car and that when the cops came out to take the report, they hid the fact there is a 360 degree camera that recorded the whole thing right the fuck there. So, there was video evidence proving an FBI connected psychopath went out of his way to run me over and instead of pulling off on this side here because he was turning right, the video and where all of these other tire things go, he should have pulled along the lines of the way this goes, but what he did was he gassed it in front of us and then gassed it along here and this whole thing caught it. Yeah. This is the type of police reporting that is going on because they did not include the fact that there is a video of his attempted vehicular crimes.